Good evening and welcome to the Job Search Solution the radio program where we talk about looking for a job, changing jobs, changing careers, hiring. And as always, we begin with a prayer. Dear God, grant us thy peace and thy mercy. Thy will be done. And just a few minutes, as we do every Wednesday evening, we're going to welcome Rich Slavinsky. He's going to be talking to us about uh, issues in the world of consulting. He always has some good ones because he's been, he's been at it for a really long time. Uh, always a pleasure to have him. Wanted to also remind you that uh, we are offering for a limited time a free book. Uh, if you want a free book about how to find a job, um, email me at Tony, T-O-N-Y, at B-A-B-I-C-H dot com. Include your address. Uh, we'll send you a free book. We've got them here. Um, we had the publisher send us a few, and we've got a few left over. And uh, we'll give them away to the um, to the community. What I wanted to discuss this evening uh, was a topic that uh, really bears a lot of mentioning and it's never talked to about enough. And it's uh, the issue of beware or be thoughtful about the kind of business that you get into when you're looking for a new career or a new business or something different or uh, somebody offers you something along the line of any arena or any uh, sector of business that can be very affected by the economy. What brings this to mind is that we have in the past few months had a rash of candidates. A rash is more than uh, uh, not even an, an exaggeration. Tons of candidates that have all gotten into the mortgage banking business. They get in the mortgage banking business when the mortgage business was hot and they made some really good money. And now interest rates have gone up and they have lost their jobs. Nobody wants to hire them or very few people want to hire them because they're afraid that when the interest rates change and mortgage banking become mortgaging uh, becomes uh, a little more robust, they'll all go back to it. So they tell us things like, we don't want to hire anybody in, out of that business because when the business comes back, uh, they're going to leave and go back in it. And of course, candidates that have done that always say, no, I won't go back in it. I've learned my lesson. I got burned, so on and so forth. Uh, but nobody believes them. They're competing against candidates that don't have that problem. So if you decide that you're going to change industries or you're going to go into something, think about where can I take this down the line and how sensitive is this business to the economy? Oil and gas is one. Real estate's another. Mortgage is another. Insurance is another. Real estate is another. Anything that relies a lot on the economy is going to be subject to ups and downs. And if you've got experience in it, when the downs are there, it's very hard for you to change careers because you go into an employer and you try to explain, I'm not going to get back into it because it was rough sledding. So think about it. When you go to change industries, when you go to change jobs, think about where is this kind of thing going to get me? And where can I take it if I gain experience doing it? Ask around. Talk to people that have been in it before. Don't just go because most people go into those kind of things because they all of a sudden can make a lot of money or think they can make a lot of money, and sometimes do, but they don't think about what happens when the economy slips. And it does every time. In 1986, oil and gas, real estate, and banking all went on their rear end in Texas, and it was real rough sledding. Now, North Texas 
I have to admit, has a, a more robust economy than other parts of the country do. And it's much more diversified than it was back in 1986. In 1986, the price of oil had a major effect on Dallas, a phenomenally major effect on Houston. It's not so much anymore, but you still have to take into account the ups and downs that are going to take place in a particular area. So do your research before you get into these kind of things. What happens is people get into those kind of businesses when they don't need to make a lot of money. They they run the, um, the gamut of the up and down of it, uh, the ups of it, especially for a while. And then they get to the point of they make about a hundred grand or so, or maybe a little better. And then it's very hard to find a job to replace that because the skills that you have, the person has developed all relate to either mortgage or banking or real estate or insurance or things like that. And that's the only thing that they relate to. And it's hard to find a job when the mortgage business goes on its rear end. It's hard to find a job in any of it. Now, if you can wait, wait it out and you can bank enough money to wait it out until it comes back, more power to you. But most people don't think of doing that. They think it's going to go on forever and nothing goes on forever in a business. They're all ups and downs and you got to be ready for those, but you got to think about it. If you're going to get in to one of those kinds of businesses, you got to realize that it what goes up real fast comes down real fast and it's going to suffer the same um, consequences anything suffers with the economy so think about that and do yourself a favor do a lot of research before you get into those kind of businesses i can't tell you the number of people that uh, we've been talking to that are trying to get out of the mortgage business and they're having a terrible time doing it so think about it all right, we're going to take a short break. Stay tuned. This is Tony Bashar with the Job Search Solution. <music> 